Hey, what's going on everybody? BDF 44 coming at you with another video. All right, so a lot of people did a lot of things in the NBA tonight. I didn't see none of it. <laughs> but I can tell you that um, I did see highlights of the New Orleans Pelicans and the uh, whoever the heck they were playing. Clippers here at the Crow. Um, and as we talked about earlier today even, but more so just in general on this channel several times that the uh, New Orleans Pelicans brought in Jonas Valanciunas because they loved the idea of him being a stretch three for their team. We talked about this many times. Now, on this night, he walked out of there with 39 points and hit seven straight threes in the first half. Seven. Now, as I said, there were a lot of people who did a lot of things tonight. You saw... Um, Triple double out of several players, um, big rebounding numbers out of guys like uh, Debonis Sabonis. I think he had like 25 boards tonight. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Christian Wood had some big boards tonight. He had a triple double out of Luka Doncic. He had all kinds of good stuff that happened this evening. But I gotta say, man, Jonas Valanciunas hitting seven threes. I mean, who does he think he is? Steph Curry, Jonas Nowitzki, Jonas Allen? I mean, who is this guy? The funny thing about it is we've seen this before and we've talked about this before with, with uh, Brooke Lopez. He he was a guy who did this very same thing several years ago uh, back when he was playing with the Nets where he had only attempted several threes his whole career and then went off and hit 100 of them in a, in a season. <laughs> You know, we've talked about Jonas Valanciunas only attempted like maybe one three a game, but made that three every time he took it um, with his previous team. And at this point, it's like, OK, well, New Orleans realized he had that gift and decided to throw a dart, you know, to throw, throw, throw a dart at him and see if it would something would stick. And it's worked out. They have put him in there, given him the opportunity to shoot the ball. And the more plays they run for him, the more they look like geniuses for allowing him to, to play the role. And it's one of the reasons why I think the Lakers should just go ahead and allow Dwight Howard to shoot the three just the same. Because what you're having here is um, a player who who's worked on his game in that way in practice and now is ready to, to implement that into the game. The percentages say you would be wise for allowing him to shoot him. Why not play the percentages and see what happens? It worked with Brooke Lopez in, in Brooklyn. It's working for Jonas Valanciunas right now. And, you know, you just got to allow a guy to try. <laughs> you know, if the percentages say he's making the shots, he's making the shots. You know, don't overthink it. Run good plays, and you'll see opportunities for that player to get the shot off. Jonas Valanciunas wasn't shooting crazy threes. He wasn't shooting threes that weren't in the flow of the game. He had a couple heat checks that went for him, but the majority of the shots that he got were plays that they run for him to get set shots that he could shoot in his, in his rhythm and his spots, and he just hit them. He hit the shots, and, and that's what it's all about. So, you know, I'm all for guys incorporating new things into their game or, or showing people that they've always had something that maybe coaches didn't believe they had because of, you know, just stuff like being seven feet <laughs> you know what i mean and and kind of having a back to the basket type of game but a gamer's a gamer man they're gonna figure out ways to be effective and a guy like jonas Valanciunas has always probably had the ability to stretch the floor he just didn't have coaches allowing him to do it so now that he has that opportunity uh to really really shine in that way he's letting it fly and he's he's a different player and i think tonight he might have made himself an all-star appearance to be completely honest with you I thought he's been teetering on uh, being an all-star level player for many years now and never got the nod, if I'm not mistaken. I think this may be the year he gets the nod after a performance like tonight. It's going to be tough because the Western Conference, like I said, has a lot of guys who went off just tonight alone in that position. But I, I just would love to see him get that opportunity. Um, and I think, you know, we mentioned earlier today uh, teams that are candidates to turn their season around I think the, mili the, the, the the New Orleans Pelicans are a very, very decent bet to uh, end the season on a much higher note than they started it with, uh, just simply before, because of, first of all, the obvious, Zion's going to be returning at some point. That's a whole 30 points that's going to be added to your, your roster, basically. Um, B.I. now returning. Um, he he kind of missed a good chunk of the season. Uh, and they're finding stuff, you know. Guys are starting to get their confidence on their team. 
et cetera, et cetera. And, you, and you're seeing, you're seeing a result of that. They got a good win tonight in LA against a Clipper team that has all of the pieces that they are able to throw out there this year. Obviously, they're missing Kawhi, but everybody else is out there from what I saw. Um, and they put a decent effort in their home building. It's not like they got ran out the gym. They were playing some pretty good ball. They just got blitzed by a seven-footer who just did not miss. If Jonas Valanciunas doesn't hit all those threes, Clippers are in this game just fine. Um, through the highlights, I wasn't really able to tell you what was going on there, and I haven't been following the Clippers, so I don't know what's really happening with that team. But what I can say is tonight, uh, Paul George looked like Paul George. Uh, he, he he played like a, 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 a star player and was hitting some big shots and doing the things they wanted him to do. Reggie Jackson looks pretty good. So, you know, they're, they're just a limited team right now without half of their squad in Kawhi Leonard uh, not being out there. But, you know, I still think Ty Lue is one of the best uh, coaches in the league. Um, and, and at this point in time, they're also a candidate to kind of turn things around, in my opinion, as they continue to, to work work what it is that they're working out and, and, and hopefully for them um, get quiet back at some point this season, although I'm not expecting that. But, um, yeah, that, that was what I saw, man. It, this You know, this game didn't stick out if if if, if for not Jonas's three-point shooting. That was just really the reason for me hopping on here and letting y'all know, hey, this game was some highlights you want to see over there because Jonas just kind of stepped all out of, outside of himself and just completely went ballistic from behind the arc. So, yeah. Y'all want to know about that. All right. So that's what I got, man. My name is BDF44. I thank y'all for watching. I'm out.